Hey guys. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, gamers? What's up, gamers? Welcome back to my channel. Today. Today. Got a little cool video for you guys. Um, we're going to be looking through some of my artworks. Some of my artworks. If you didn't know, I am a bit of an artist. A bit of an artist. artworks that I've done and uh, we're in my beautiful art studio today. I've just got a few artworks that I've done and oh, we're going to be uh, looking through them. There are just a couple of them. I don't think I'll get to them all because there is a lot but um, I'll get to some cool ones I want to show you guys. Um, so just got a stack here. I'm just gonna run through it the way I put it on here, and uh, hopefully uh, we can get through a decent amount of them. So, um, first up, get this one. This one. Now, this one is not good, but, but to be fair, I had the challenge of for this we were not allowed to use any paintbrushes to make to make these. We had to use, you know, sponges and uh, popsicle sticks and, you know, other objects. Your fingers. So, um, but I just decided to make this cool little, it had to be like a landscape. And I kind of wanted to make an otherworldly landscape. Um, so I asked the teacher and she was like, well, it depends on how outlandish it is. Do a little sketch, show me, see if it's okay. So I sketched this out, and she was like, yeah, it's fine. So I have three suns, because I kind of wanted it to be otherworldly. Otherworldly, otherworldly. There are a couple rocks here on the beach. And I just did a little sunset, a triple sunset. Some clouds. I'm not going to be tapping on all of them, because some of them are, um, what's it called, uh, like, a, it's like a crayon, uh, oil pastels, yes, yes, oil pastel. Alright, um, so I won't be tapping on all of them, because that would ruin some of them, but, um, I'll tap on the ones that I can. Next up we have this, this hallway we did in pencil. Most of these are from uh, my freshman year uh, art class because I just finished my freshman year of high school. But we have um, this hallway that I made. I like it. Um, we, You had the choice of doing different hallways around the school. I did this one. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, it's, it's a two point per per one one point perspective, sorry. It's one point perspective, and uh, the door at the end of the hallway was the point. Um, it took me a little a couple tries to get it right, but uh, after a while I started understanding and I got it, so. There it is. School hallway, hopefully. Okay, I can not any lead on me, so that's good. Alright. So, um, sorry if you guys hear any talking in the background. Um, next up, we have... This artwork, this artwork, this artwork. Uh, it's basically, we had to take boxes and section off our papers. Um, and you had to do at least two different styles for every other box. You could do like three different styles. Uh, one style, two style, one style. You know, um, whatever. It just had to be alternating at least. And I made, so... The reason why there is a lot going on here is um, basically uh, my idea for this one was to take all of the art projects that I had made all throughout the year of um, freshman year and kind of make them all into one. So uh, each kind of thing here is from a different p 
piece of art that I made. And I have it kind of all coming down onto me falling down into this pit of darkness here. So yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, this took me a couple days to make. Um, of course, we only have like 45 minutes in the day because it's class period. But uh, yeah. Um, it, it's in watercolor, so uh, it's not great because I'm not very used to the medium, but I still like it. It was still fun to make. On to the next one. This is another watercolor drawing. This one was flower, a flower, just a flower. And some of the back is rough, 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 rough. Um, and it's not very sunshy. But, uh, the flower's good. I like the flower. Um, but yes, again, this is me trying to work with watercolor. I'm not used to it. Um, I decided, because I finished kind of early on this one, so I decided I would make a little dude looking out in a ship there for funsies. So that would be another one. Sorry about the little cut. Um, next up, we have an oil pastel piece. Um, and I did. And it's this. Try not to smudge it. Uh, it's this optical illusion piece. Um, basically, all the triangles on this paper um, kind of go into each other, and uh, I made a little wavy background. Something too crazy, but uh, I thought it was cool. I also have these little kind of hole illusions. It could be like a hockey puck or a hole, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. We have another oil pastel piece. This one, uh, we had to make three circles. So um, here's one big one, obviously, and another one for that planet, and another one's that planet. So the planet was a circle. I just made three circles on the sheet. Um, but yeah, this this planet, um, it's kind of has its like, you know, land separated by the trees' um, roots, which I thought was kind of a cool concept. Um, and then this one uh, is uninhabited, and this one's kind of far away. Um, but yeah, so that was my little tree space one. Next up, we have this one is an abstract piece. Was we had to make an abstract piece, and um, I made basically uh, you have you had to make an abstract piece that represents a f your greatest fear, and my greatest fear is probably the unknown. So I kind of have this black hole type of thing that's kind of uh, distorting. Uh, everything and each section kind of represents a part of my life that I'm I don't know what comes next and it makes me scared so this part represents my family my family my family this part represents my romantic endeavors um and then if you flip the paper here, this part represents my future of what I want to do, where I want to be, if I'll be there or not, if I'll to enjoy it or not. And this part represents um, school, the work I have to do, you know, the anxiety of getting things done on time. is a this is just is this normal paint or is this I think this is just yeah normal paint or acrylic paint and for this one we were doing a still life so I did um, 
the spray bottle, phone, and the paintbrush. And then I have some of the background of the classroom in there. Um, I think the spray bottle was really good. The phone did okay. The paintbrush was fine. The background's a little rough, but I think that's not really the main focus of it, so it's not too big of a deal. Alright, next up. I'm really proud of this one. We have a turtle eye, a sea turtle eye. So for this one, we had to pick an animal and make its eyeball close up. And I was looking at uh, sea turtles, and I thought they looked cool. But the eyes looked cool. So I did a sea turtle eye. I think it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, on to the next one. Uh, I believe we are going to get through all of them, luckily. Um, I don't know if I'm going through them too quick. I'm trying to not take too much time on, on any individual ones. You're kind of showing them off, talking about them a little. Anyway, um, so this one is a watercolor. This is probably the best watercolor one I did, even though I got some uh, stains on it, sadly. Um, this is one where we had to draw a... Uh, a bunch of flowers, a bunch of flowers being held by a hand, and um, the flowers kind of had to be um, opposite colors, so my main colors here are yellow and purple, but you can see there in the back there's some red and blue, some, you know, different colored ones, yellow's kind of got some orange mixed in there just to add some flavor, and then I have this and that I'm pretty pretty darn proud of. I think I did pretty well anatomy wise there. And then I made this robe. This robe kind of thing that this person is wearing. So, okay, sorry about that. Another cut. Next up we have uh, this one's from a while ago, but it's uh was an original character. I think I drew this maybe in like seventh grade. Um, but we have Night Ninja. It was really cool art style that I uh, never used again. But uh, definitely, definitely inspiration from Lars from. Um, Steven Universe and his kind of like space adventures that he went on. So yeah, it's, it's Night Ninja, aka Jerry. So pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, next up, we have kind of a horror, bendy, cuphead inspired character named Chipper Axel. He was kind of this creepy, unhinged, Mickey Mouse, you know, parody kind of thing. But uh, I like his design a lot. I think uh, you can make some cool, cool stuff with him. So, definitely a character I won't be forgetting about. Um, last but not least, certainly, we have... this two-point cityscape. Um, basically, we were doing a two-point two point, um, art project, and for it, I made this cityscape here. Um, and we have, in my city here, we have um, a Target. We have a KP Music Studio, because I do make music. We have a bank, front square here. We have a McDonald's. And then there's some other buildings here and there, you know? And um, we got some action going on here. We have some aliens uh, that are robbing the city. Because uh, we had to add some, you know, a fictional element to it. So I made some aliens uh, robbing the city saying, um, the government's here, we gotta run. And then they're all like agreeing with him. And uh, 
This guy's talking in this language. Um, he's up like, get them. It's mob following behind him. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So that, my friends, is all the artwork. All the artwork. All the artwork I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like. 